Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video with the Premier League season a matter of hours away from kicking off again for another campaign. It begins tonight. We are going to be doing some quick fire predictions. We're going to be talking about the upcoming round of fixtures and giving some predictions on them games. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both things are always and frankly greatly appreciated, of course. But for now, let's get back to talking about the Premier League round of fixtures that are upcoming for this weekend. And it's, of course, the opening game of the fixtures. And we're going to begin with newly promoted Brentford hosting Arsenal. Yes, tonight we see Brentford officially arrive in the Premier League for, uh, tonight, taking on Arsenal in the opening game of the 2021-22 Premier League season. Fans are back inside stadiums. Brentford have a new stadium to show off along with their arrival in the Premier League. Their fans are going to be absolutely buzzing for this Premier League game, to be back in the Premier League overall, you just know it's going to be an exciting fixture in store tonight. So they're going to be extremely up for it. It's never nice for any side to get a newly promoted club, but especially for Arsenal, who always are a bit of a mystery package. You never know which Arsenal side's going to turn up. All I will say is that you shouldn't sleep on Brentford this season. Don't sleep on Ivan Tony either, the Brentford striker. I predict Brentford will stay up and I predict a big season for Tony in particular. I'm going to predict that Brentford tonight will shock some people. I think they'll shock some people across the whole season. But it will begin tonight where they will draw to Arsenal. I think they'll pick up their first point of being a Premier League team. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. Next, we come to Manchester United against Leeds United. Very tough start for both clubs, but it could be could make for a very entertaining game ahead. A massive season ahead for United with their transfer activity this summer. Many people are saying or expecting them to make progress and probably win something this season. Or at the very least, challenge for the title right down to the wire. Whilst for Leeds, can they replicate their form of last season and make gradual progression? Or will they suffer with second season syndrome? Second season syndrome, like that's going to happen. I highly doubt that's going to happen anyway. My opinion is the former. I think Leeds will make honest progression this season and probably replicate the form that they showed last campaign. We know that Leeds will show no fear. We know that they'll try and be on the front foot and attack a lot. But will that play into the counter-attacking style of Manchester United, we wait and see. Last season, when these two teams met at Old Trafford, the game had goals galore, with the game finishing 6-2 to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side. Will we see something similar here? It could be an exciting fixture ahead, like I said, and that's again why I'm predicting a 2-2 draw. Burnley versus Brighton is our next game of focus. The unfortunate thing about this season is that we have the return of three o'clock kickoffs, which means that we don't get the choice to watch all of the games across all, across the whole entire weekend. Seriously, why is this still a thing? Why can't we at least have the choice to watch what we want on three, at 3 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon? Anyway, moving on, because that's probably another debate for another day, another video for another day or whatever. Moving on, two sides that could be battling relegation this season go head to head, but they'll very likely stay up, won't they? I think many people are not predicting either of these two sides to go down this season. I think many people will say that they can keep their heads above water. Burnley aren't changing their style for anyone. That's, that's simple enough. They're stubborn, they're resolute, as well as physical. Whilst Brighton will play some nice football, it's just be a question of how clinical they can be in goal in front of goal this season. Last season, their attack kind of let down what was a pretty solid defence for the most part. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win though here. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a draw happened, but I'm going to go with a Seagulls victory. Another three o'clock game, we'll see Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea fresh off of their Super Cup victory over Villarreal midweek play at Stamford Bridge against Crystal Palace. Chelsea are one of the favourites to be ch to be challenging for the Premier League title this season, you'd, you'd reckon anyway. Uh, whilst Palace begin a new era at the club under Arsenal legend and invincible Patrick Vieira. An era which brings a sense of intrigue and mystery. But we wait and see how it all pans out. 
The Blues go in as favourites, but opening day of any season can throw up some shocks and some surprises. Chelsea would be ones to watch this season, no doubt, coming off the back of their Champions League success last season. And of course, like I mentioned, the Super Cup success of midweek as well. Obviously, Thomas Tuchel and Chelsea will want to continue to ride that wave of success going forward. And, but will it continue over the course of this coming season? I predict, though, that they'll kick off their new season with a win. I reckon I am reckon I'm going to go with a 2-1 Chelsea victory, in all honesty here. Rafa Benitez as Everton takes on Ralph Hasenhutl Southampton in our next game. The Rafa Benitez era at Everton kicks off with a home game. It'll be very interesting to watch from here. Both these teams, in fact, not just Everton, who have got a former Liverpool manager in charge, but of course, Southampton, who many people, I was actually surprised that many people actually had them and tipped them to actually go down this season. I do, I do understand that they lost Danny Ings and there were snowballing reports and rumours that they could be losing more key players as well, this transfer window. So it doesn't look good for the Saints in all honesty, but we wait and see how their season pans out. For this game though, again, another one which could go either way. But I only see Everton winning this one. I am going to go for a 2-1 Toffees victory in this fixture. Brendan Rodgers, Leicester host Wolves in our next game of focus at the King Power Stadium. Leicester, of course, are fresh off of their Community Shield triumph over Manchester City last week. And this season will look to once again attempt to break into the top four and gain Champions League football for next season. Whilst Wolves are another club that are beginning a new era, uh, their new era is set to begin under their new manager, Bruno Large. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing that name properly, as interesting times do lie ahead for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Could be a very interesting game, this one. Uh, a slight unknown entity of sorts in Bruno Large at Wolves. Not very well known or notorious manager, particularly in England. Whilst at least for Leicester, we know what we're going to get. Leicester will look to attack. They've got some star players within their squad and will look for their key players to once again step up across the, the upcoming campaign. Opening day of the season, I'm going to go for a Leicester win here. I think that a draw wouldn't surprise me given that it is the opening day and that Wolves, like I say, are a bit of an unknown entity with their new manager. But again, a common theme in this video I'm going to have to go with a 2-1 victory to the Foxes. Our next game of focus will be focusing on the return to the Premier League of Watford. They are facing a very tough task ahead of them in their first game back in England's top flight division as they are going to be facing the very ambitious Aston Villa. Watford's return to the Premier League is already being tipped by many before ball is even kicked as being doomed before it's even begun. They are being tipped to be relegated and go back down to the championship for this season. And we'll probably go for about 10 different managers to achieve that, probably. No, but in all seriousness, it'll be interesting to see if they can survive or can or will surprise a few people this season. As for Villa, like I say, a very, very ambitious Villa squad. A very optimistic and very excited about the future kind of Villa fans they've got going on over there right now thanks to their transfer business this summer which on paper looked very very promising and very very good. I don't see it being an initial successful return to the top flight division for the Hornets. I think Villa will win here. I'm a bit of a neutral in this of course because I am a Liverpool fan but in saying that I'm also intrigued to see some of Villa's new players in action and of course, Leon Bailey is definitely one of them I'll be keeping an eye on as the season progresses. I think Villa will win this game and I'm going to predict that Villa will beat the Hornets three goals to one. Our next game of focus, we're focusing on another return to the Premier League, this time in the form of Norwich City. And their prize for return to the Premier League is an opening day fixture with Jurgen Klopp to Liverpool Saturday night. Norwich instantly find themselves as one of many people's favourites to be relegated this season, like Watford and sort of like Burnley in a way, the newly promoted sides all kind of get the relegation scrutiny treatment from fans and pundits alike. 
Whilst for Liverpool, we all know about their problems last season, but this season they welcome back the likes of Joe Gomez and Virgil van Dijk to the squad. A squad in which many say that is good enough to challenge for the title, but winning it may be a bit too far for them given the likes of Manchester City and Chelsea that are around them. It's a question of whether Norwich have improved and or learnt from their mistakes of a couple of years ago when they were originally back in the Premier League a couple of seasons ago. For this game though, I, find, I think it'll be difficult for the Reds. I think it will be a difficult opening day fixture. Like I say, no one wants to face any of the newly promoted sides on the opening day. But having said that, I still cannot see anything but a Liverpool victory here. So I'm going to go with a Liverpool win and say that the Reds will be 3-1 winners come the final whistle. Sunday, we first see Steve Bruce's Newcastle clash with David Moyes' West Ham at St. James's Park. Newcastle will probably find themselves in a relegation scrap again this season, but will likely survive by having other teams that are worse than them. Whilst West Ham may not be able to replicate or shock as many people uh, or shock as many people as they did last season with that sixth place finish they managed to achieve. But a comfortable mid-table finish does look set to you on the cards for the Hammers during this campaign. Two sides who haven't really done anything massive, I'd say, this summer. I know that, obviously, Newcastle signed Joe Willock and West Ham have done a couple of minor transfers here and there. But nothing major, nothing massive. So it's pretty much as you were from last season for these two sides so far. I'd be interested to see if, New if West Ham can pick up from where they left off last campaign and continue the form that they showed throughout the majority of last season. And I do kind of expect them to, at least for the short term, and at least for this game, do exactly that by picking up the three points here. I'm gonna go with a 2-1 Hammers win. And arguably this is the biggest game of this round of fixtures this weekend. We finally come to the, well, what could be considered the main event of the opening round of Premier League fixtures, Tottenham, hosting Manchester City, taking place Sunday afternoon. These two teams are, in a, are going to be in a battle on the pitch on Sunday, but off the pitch, of course, these two teams have been a bit in a bit of a tug of war of sorts with one Harry Kane. Spurs want him to stay, of course. City are interested and want to sign him. But it's being said that if all things go according to plan and Kane is healthy and fit enough to actually play, then he could actually be playing in a Spurs shirt on Sunday. He could be available for selection. Whether he is selected or not remains to be seen. City will be looking for all three points to kick off their title defence. Of course, the Premier League title that they won last season. It'll be interesting to see how they do this season. While Spurs have a new manager in the form of Nuno Espirito Santo, the former Wolves manager, of course, who will be looking to hit the ground running with his new club. Obviously, it's a big game, this one. One, you may expect City to win, but don't rule out Spurs just yet. First game of the season, like I said, can often throw up many surprises. And we've seen before that sometimes it does take City a few games before they really get going and really get fully into gear and get their act together. So maybe Spurs can possibly take advantage of that. Eyes will be everywhere on this game, of course, whether it's on the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Jack Grealish, Raheem Sterling maybe, or for Tottenham, Sun Hyung Min, or even, like I say, Harry Kane, whether he's on the pitch or in the stands, or maybe he's at home watching the game on TV. I'm pretty sure that 95% of the commentary team and the pundits, whatever they're going to be talking about in the build-up at half-time and at full-time of this game, I'm sure will revolve around Harry Kane. I'm sure he'll be the star of the show whether he's there or not. A draw wouldn't surprise me here, but I'm going to go with my head on this one and say that City will win this game and I'm predicting that Pep Guardiola's side will get off to the perfect start of City's title defence with a 2-1 victory to City. But as I always say, these are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it, of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of all the games that are happening in this opening round of Premier League fixtures for the new season? What are your own predictions on them? I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it, down below in the comments section on this. I, I'm sure it will all make 
for interesting reading. Otherwise, hit that like button on the way up. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things are always and forever be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I will see and speak with you all again soon in another video.